Hussein Amin Ibrahim by car was born on the 2nd of January 1913 in Alexandria, Egypt. His father died when he was a young child and his mother, recognizing his talent for art, moved them to Cairo and enrolled him in the High School of Arts in Cairo, from which he graduated in 1933. Baikar taught art in primary and secondary school as until 1942, then, in 1943, he went to become a member of the Faculty of the Fine Arts, Cairo University where he went on to assume the position of chair of the painting department. Baikar also worked as an illustrator and art critic for Akbar al Yum newspaper. Over the years the years Baikar received a number of awards and decorations including the Medal of Pride Morocco 1942, the First Class Medal of Science and Art Egypt 1967 The Gamal Abdel Nasser Award with the participation of the Soviet Union Egypt 1975 The National Certificate of Appreciation and Medal of Honor Egypt 1980 and most recently the Mubarak Prize Egypt 2000 Baikar's philosophy towards art was the acknowledgement of the interdependency of all societies and cultures, while at the same time not ignoring one's own cultural foundation. He believed that contemporary artists face the challenge of synchronizing local and international art and believed that modern art had lost its way by restoring to shape without content. Baikar was a follower of Muhammad Mukhtar, the first modern Egyptian artist who insists that Egyptian art must come from Egyptian roots and not by imitation of traditional Greek and Roman art. As a painter Baikar's work is characterized by its pure and simple lines denoting forcefulness and spirituality as a painter by Carr's work characterized by its pure and simple lines he is extremely versatile and worked with a variety of mediums including watercolor tempera and oil his subject matter is Egyptian and often depicted rural scenes dot his pen lines impose a sculptured quality on austere settings Even from a very early age by Carter taught to others. In Alexandria when he was just 10 years old, he was a music teacher for society ladies who due to cultural restrictions could not use adult male teachers. After finishing school by Carter taught at primary and secondary school, and in 1939, was selected as a member of a team of teachers to teach in Morocco at the invitation of the Moroccan. Government by car spent four years in Morocco where he learned to speak Spanish fluently before returning to Egypt with the outbreak of World War II back home he joined the High School of Fine Arts in Cairo which had previously been brought under the auspices of the Ministry of Education. Baikar spent the next 17 years the way he went on to become the chair of the painting department. His inclination to draw on Egyptian heritage for subject was inspirational for many of these students. Baikar emphasized that an artist should not be limited to a single style but should give himself to the subject and allow it to dictate the appropriate style. His introduction to illustration came while he was working as assistant to his former professor, Ahmed Sabri at the Faculty of Fine Arts, and he was asked to prepare drawing for the first illustrated book published in Egypt entitled The Stream of Days by Tabsha Hussain. With Hussain's book, Baikar discovered a new outlet for his artistic creativity and began himself to write and illustrate children's books something that he continued to do for many years his depictions were delightfully clear and simple 
yet rich in expression at the same time, in 1952, by Carr produced and illustrated Sinbad, a children's magazine, the first of its kind in Egypt. By Carr during his four years in Morocco he was able to travel extensively in Europe. When World War II broke out, he could not return from Europe to Egypt via the Mediterranean Sea, and he was forced to return by way of the Cape and South Africa. This journey took him three months during which time he painted many portraits in the African countries he passed through during his, his time at the Faculty of Fine Arts. Bakar had done some illustration work for newspapers part-time. In 1959 he left the university to work at Akbar al Yum newspaper when its founding owners Mustafa, Amin and Ali Amin asked him to work the full-time as a foreign illustrator reports from around the world. This new job took him to assignments in Ethiopia, Syria, Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia and Spain. Although his position was terminated in 1962 when the newspaper was nationalized, he continued at the paper as an art critic with a regular column and by writing and illustrating the Rubaziat, a series of four-line verses. Amongst the most magnificent works of Baikar is the set of paintings done by Baikar for the Eighth Wonder, a documentary narrating the tale of Ramses II Temple in Abu Simbel in southern Egypt. Following the construction of the High Dam, it was discovered that Nubia and its antiquities were facing the threat of flooding. Dr. Tawato Kashad, the then Egyptian culture minister, spearheaded a worldwide campaign to rescue the Nubia antiquities to which the UNESCO responded positively. Among the salvaged antiquities was the Ramses II temple in Abu Simbel which was moved to a mountain beyond water level, cutting the monument into slabs to be raised by giant cranes and transported by huge tractors to the new site, was an unprecedented architectural process. Canadian director John Feeney shot the stages of the temple relocation but he discovered that his documentary was lacking information and illustrations of the history of building the monument. There was need for information covering 3,500 years since Ramses II commissioned the construction of the temple to immortalize his era and deeds. By drew illustrations depending on historical and geometrical information provided on this grand architectural structure. It took him more than two years to complete those works during which he visited Nubia and Thebes. He moved between the two towns on a Nile boat biker's works commissioned for the documentary. Demonstrate mastery of his art and craft like the ancient Egyptian architecture. By car shows brilliance and precision, it is a great work of creativity. By drawing on imagination and consulting books of history, he has breathed life back into a full era of ancient history, thus, the era appears vibrant with hundreds of fine details. Visitors of Kapselguna, near the Red Sea city town of Hakada can now visit the Abu Simbel Museum by Baika, on display of 54 of the paintings he created for the documentary which showcase his consummate skill in historical illustrations and his passion for the pharaonic civilization. By Carr was an avid music lover. He could play the lute beautifully at the age of eight and by nine was teaching it to young girls and woman society oddly enough. He never learned how to read notations even with the help of tutor and claimed unfortunately. I did not go beyond the ear. I listened to music but I could never read the note by Carr was a major figure in the art of scene of Cairo for more than 50 years. As a musician, poet, painter, teacher, illustrator, reporter and story writer. 
by car has given and continues to give great pleasure to millions of people. His contribution to the arts is beyond measure elegantly simplistic, eclectic and receptive to change. Baikar explains that to understand is to appreciate the fine lines of his cartoons stirred. Countless imaginations while the vibrant colors of his magnificent paintings gave voice to a million. Unuttered words, Baikar received the State Merit Award in 1978, the Merit Medal in 1980 and, in 2000, shortly before his death, the Mubarak Award. Because he was just a member of the Baha'u faith he was arrested in the 1980s by the Egyptian state. Security Investigation Bureau in a clamp down on Baha'us in Egypt. The Universal House of Justice, the highest governing body of the Baha'u faith, paid tribute to his contributions to Egyptian society after his death in 2002. The most famous one in Egypt. The legendary painter Hassan Baikar. 